So this one, DNY Mellon support for Bitcoin is a tipping point for crypto, says industry leaders. And we've actually covered this last week, but I want to re-examine what's going on as far as like what people have said, especially our, our uh, friend of the show, Alex Maschioli. So this week's this week, America's oldest bank, BNY Mellon, announced plans to store and manage Bitcoin on behalf of its clients. That's great. So remember, what I, what I talked about is that not everybody's like you and me. They don't want to get a ledger and they want to learn all these different things. And they got like 10 kids running around. They got two jobs trying to have a social life. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. So, I mean, I like this crypto. I'll get into it. But I need someone to like, you know, store it for me because I hear about this guy who's got this, uh, this mining rig or, or this computer, and he's tried eight different passwords. He's got two more. He's going to lose all his Bitcoin. Or I heard about this, this hack over at Ledger, and I don't want to lose. And it was a personal attack, or it's, it's a personal info uh, uh, mess up, but uh, you know what I mean. And they just hear about people losing their crypto on these different devices. Like, I don't want to deal with that. But if a bank does, especially with Mellon, it's been around 200 plus years, and it's FDIC insured, I'll do that. So we can't look down on people because they don't want to come to where we are. As long as they're here in the, under the party in the big tent, I'm happy that they're here. I don't care. So a key milestone, BNY Mellon, 236-year-old American investment bank that controls around $2 trillion, announced on February 11th that it will store Bitcoin and other digital currencies, offering the same asset management service that it offers for traditional currencies and stocks. Again, that's great because not everybody wants to store it. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to have to lose it. They don't want the anxiety. So uh, I understand. Uh, states here, once their crypto offering is available later this year, it could soon prove to be an inflection point as it will fundamentally change how asset managers view Bitcoin and other digital assets. Alex Maschioli, head of institutional services at digital asset prime broker Bequan. I never thought about that, about how it could really shift things. I mean, I know it was a good thing, you know, but it's, it's good to hear about a different perspective. He also states, just think about what would happen to crypto assets if even a small portion of BNY Mellon's institutional customers decide to allocate to Bitcoin. And this is the reason, this is why I like to subscribe and listen to Alex, because he's the guy that can tell you this information. Nobody else can do that. Nobody else is on YouTube who is dealing with billion dollar hedge funds. Only this guy. So that's why I like to listen to him. He says even only one half of 1% of the 41 trillion BNY Mellon overseas is committed to crypto, even if only one half. We may see prices approach the targets that have been mentioned by JP Morgan, Guggenheim and others. And if you remember, that's like 600,000 uh, in who knows how long, maybe two, three years, or maybe 146 by the end of the year, which is my personal prediction is. Anyhow, uh, it was just another way that we're talking about moving the needle, these older institutions getting in, newer institutions getting in, everybody's getting in, and this is good for us. And also, if you wanna take a look at Alex's uh, channel, uh, he is responsible for this little gem my top five altcoin picks. Uh, it was just actually a, a, a funny one. It was just a joke. But uh, he's got a lot of great uh, guests. They do a lot of different uh, TA fundamental analysis and sentiment analysis. And he's always in my uh, description of all my videos, along with like five or six other YouTubers that I recommend that I listen to every day. So check that out. And that is it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last pieces.